Hello, I'm Toyong Lee at UNIST and we present nails, sensing hand input with touch sensitive nails. In this work, we focused on a fingernail as an interactive surface. There are many benefits. They are easily and comfortably accessible and also they are a proper region to mount body extensions like cosmetic artificial nails. Already some prior works reflecting these benefits for input and output. Firstly, alternate showed how the fingernail can interact with surrounding objects through the ambient display, and they used it for notification or actively counter. Similarly, fingernail display mounted tiny display and an optical sensor on the nail, and they could recognize pressure input from the sun pad. Through this configuration, they presented some applications like transferring a file through the fingernail. And the last one is highly related to our work. In the nail O, they attached the capacitive touchpad on the nail and explored the input from the single finger. The input consisted with five actions, which are four directional swipes and one tap. In our work, we extend this work to the full set of five fingernails. To understand design space enabled by a full set of nails, we follow the traditional HCI research method from design to development and evaluation. The start was an ideation workshop. Five graduate students participated and the goal was to generate diverse interaction ideas using a full set of five fingernails. The process was simple. Firstly, they defined tasks and actions that could be useful in the wearable situation. For example, they set a music player and its sub-actions, like next previous song or changing the volume. Then, they devised nail input ideas, like plicking index nail for the previous song or the plicking thumbnail for the next song. This process generated 80 gestures and we categorized them into five themes. These five themes show how five nails could be utilized in wearable scenarios. For example, we can make a hand push like good and okay, or we can utilize touch and movement together as if we are using a knob for volume control, or each nail could be used as a separate space for interaction, or relative direction of each action could be mapped with an interface, or actions can follow the current input technologies like a double click. We also analyzed the characteristics of these inputs in terms of touch itself. And we found that for actions like tap, click, swipe horizontal or vertical were mainly used and also some near regions like tip and side were utilized. And also all the nails were evenly used including single and multiple nails. So based on these characteristics, we set these basic input primitives. Tap has five regions to touch, while click has just one and swipes have three regions to each other. Also, there were five single nails and six nail combinations. Using these input primitives, we generated 144 input actions. Then we built a prototype that could recognize all these 144 input actions. For the hardware, we had two requirements. Firstly, the prototype should fit in the nails comfortably, and also it should not hinder the actions. So the touchpad was curved to fit the curvature of the nail and had one millimeter of thickness. Also, each touchpad has different sizes for each finger. Secondly, the system should recognize all the input actions we generated. For this, we had 3x3 or 2x3 grid. The data from these sensors were processed to recognize each action. Firstly, the low data was scaled up by three times, and we calculated image moments to summarize this contact as an ellipse. Then from the five nails, we determined whether each input was single or multiple, and each action and region were recognized according to the touch size, position, and the movement. These were based on the threshold from the pilot test. Then, compulsory. 
There were 16 participants, and the goal was to capture comfort data for every 100 polygraph actions. The users rated comfort for every action in 5 points record scale. As a result, we got the mean comfort rate as 3.4 out of 5. Let's see the detail. These are the comfort rates for each single and multiple nails. And as you can see, the single actions on the ring and the little and those many multiple actions are uncomfortable. Similarly, this is a comfort rate for the each action and region. And we can find most of those outer and root regions and multiple swipes were uncomfortable. Then, performance study. There were 16 participants and the goal was to capture performance data for every 100 polygraph actions. The user mounted prototype on their right hand and performed every action to measure time and error data. In the study, we showed each poor repetitions in a row and we regard first edge and practice. This process was to reduce the impact of examining and interpreting the study instructions. As a result, the mean accuracy was 68.5% and mean time was 1.64 seconds. The decision computer metrics for nail lesion and we can find that most of errors were made between outer, center, and root regions. So as a conclusion, we found that mean time was relatively okay, but the mean accuracy needs to be improved for the readily distinguishable system. For this, there are two strategies. Firstly, we found that each user had a different hand size, and this let them conduct each action differently. So the personalization for recognizer can be helpful. Also, we can boost accuracy by reducing the actions that causes errors. So we try to select the final input set that are useful, readily distinguishable, and comfortable. To do this, we had four criteria to select the final input set, and we used data from both comfort and performance study. Firstly, we used actions that over mean comfort score. So most of the multiple actions and root and outer regions were discarded. Secondly, we assigned different regions to different actions for reliable recognition. For example, we assigned the tip to multiple swipes, while the center was assigned to multiple taps. Thirdly, we tried to retain examples from ideation workshop. And lastly, we make some exceptions for create a coherent set. For example, Although the reader has a reduced comfort and accuracy, we included it for the consistency. As a result, we set this 29 final input set, which contains 25 single actions and 4 multiple actions. Using this action set, we try to verify this final set. There were 10 participants, and the goal was to verify the performance and experience of every final 29 actions. There were three steps in the verification study. The goal of the first study was to generate the data for personalization. In the first study, we showed each poor repetitions in a row as we did in the performance study, so the users could know what actions they need to make in advance. But in the second study, we showed all the actions in a random order. By doing so, we tried to measure the data when users were not aware of the input actions they would need to make. So we can say that the second study was harder than the first study. Although the second study has a harder condition, it shows 94.3% of accuracy and 1.61 seconds of mean time when we applied the personalized algorithm. Then in the demo, Users tried two sample applications with varying hollow range. These are the confusion metrics for the last input set, and all the inputs are relatively well classified. 
This is the example of demonstration. We speed up the video for brevity. We can tap on each nail to pick the applications. Uh, click to remove and long tap to open. And hand push for play or push. Swipe for next zone. And tap and rotate for changing the position. And the swipe for volume changing. And multiple click to the go home and long tap to open. And click to next or previous. Most of these actions were from the workshop ideas. After the demo, we conducted 10 minutes of semi-structured interview and we summarized these into three themes. Firstly, they highlighted a viable aspect of nails, as the nails was convenient, easily done, and easy to access, or no other equipment is needed, and less tiring and simpler and socially acceptable. Also, the nails was readily learnable by some users. For example, changing playback position with rotation was just like uh, rotating a knob, or clicking to delete notifications were intuitive. Directional control for next previous were well matched together. There were also some worries on the nails, like input on the real nail is frustrating. My real finger makes unintentional touches a lot, and real world use will involve more long touches. Okay, then conclusion. Through the process, we showed that nails are expressive, comparable, rapid, and readily distinguishable. And as a future work, we need to improve sensor hardware in terms of fidelity and aesthetics and exploring nail touch input in the field, considering Midas touch, will be interesting. Okay, thank you for listening.